Hello, and welcome to the Hobby Heap. My name is Connor, and today I'm going to show you how I make my jungle bases for my Tau and Seraphon armies. The first thing we're going to work on is the ground cover. When you look at ground cover for dense jungles and forests, it's mainly made out of leaf litter and other detritus. So, for great scale leaves, I'm going to start with emptying out these tea bags. Any brand will do, but I'd recommend not stealing your mum's Yorkshire Gold and going for a much cheaper, own name store brand. Next, I'm going to add some generic herbs and spices. This Italian seasoning from my local shop didn't cost much at all and again, makes for great scale leaves and plant life. After this is all mixed together, I'm going to add another cheap and helpful ingredient. This is coconut fibre. This is mainly used as compost in the gardening trade, as well as substrate for the bottom of reptile tanks. But again, it makes for great dirt, and the small fibres will look great as small twigs or roots on our bases. It's only cost me around a fiver on Amazon, and I genuinely think that unless you're making massive dioramas or basing boards, one block of this stuff will last a lifetime. Don't forget to clean up your mess as you go along, or it will come back to haunt you later. Once this is all mixed together, it's time to start applying it. The base gets a generous cover of PVA glue before dumping it in my mix. If you want to add more undulation to your base, drip a bit of water down PVA onto it and give it another sprinkling of the ground mix. Once we're happy with the amount, it's time to drip water down PVA all over the base. This step is super important to help keep all our ground cover solid and glued together. After the glue is dry, we prime this bad boy black. It then gets covered all over in Citadel's Rhinox hide. It's not a bad idea to water this paint down more than usual, help it seep in between the ground cover and ensure maximum coverage. Agrax Earthshade is then used over the whole base to add a little depth. We 
We then want to bring back the highlights, so a dry brush of Mornfang Brown is applied. To simulate a little greenery coming through the leaf litter, we're going to dry brush a few areas using different green tones. Here, I'm using Death World Forest and Lauren Forest. After this, we're going to carefully apply some grass tufts and plant life to really bring it to life. Now, normally you wouldn't find grass in the jungle, but at this scale, the tufts read as generic plant life. Feel free to leave your bases here, but to add some extra spice to them, I'm going to add one of these laser cut plants from Gamers Grass. I absolutely love these as they tie the whole thing together and really bring the jungle vibe home. If you haven't added these to your arsenal yet, I'd thoroughly recommend it. Gamers Grass, please sponsor me. A little bit of fine clump foliage to again read as moss or small plant life. And finally, we're going to bring back in just a touch of that watered down Rhinox hide to simulate thick, wet mud. And there we have it, a super easy and relatively cheap jungle base for your miniatures. If you're feeling brave, you can even add loads of extra details. This base, for example, I started with a layer of milliput to create more exaggerated undulations, created a small pond out of UV resin, added a fake aquarium plant, and even used a stick from the garden to simulate a fallen tree.
Similarly, with my Tigrex Carnosaur base, I added a stick, as well as tons more Gamers Grass products, some dirty down moss effect on a log, and even some small roots the original ground cover to simulate larger branches and sticks. Jungles are amazingly varied biomes, and you can really let your imagination run wild when making these bases. If you made it this far in the video, I want to say a massive thank you. You honestly have no idea how much it means to me to have people like yourself watching my videos and hopefully enjoying my content. Please feel free to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video, or if you have any tips of your own you want to share. If you like what I do and want to see more, please consider subscribing. And if you want to support me further, I do have a Ko-Fi link in the description. Thank you once again for watching, have a lovely day, and we'll see you in the next video on The Hobby Heap.